Hello to everyone, how are you? This is Joanna and I'm gonna share with you my Bath and Body Works order. This just came in today and then I ordered these during the candle sale of buy to get to and then I have a Pandora haul to share with you. So I'll go ahead and remove all of this stuff from its boxes and share with you what I got and why I chose some of it. All right, so again, how is everyone doing? This is Joanna and today is Wednesday and I just got this order right here. I just got home to receive this order and I only ordered some things from the $4.95 moisturizing sale. I don't think they included the lotions or I would have gotten a lotion for each of these. Um, as you know, I did go ahead and get the oil when it wasn't on sale and the oil was not included in that. And then today what I got was the water cream and I might already have this I know for the original water line I have the cream and the gel cream and I know that I have a moisturizing body wash in the shower right now it's still good even though I got it a while ago they didn't list one for this one I don't believe I think that's why I didn't get one because I did get one for the other two and I believe this is the same hyaluronic acid I don't know um if anything has changed or anything like that i'll try to share with you some of the wording on the package here and i haven't pulled this out to check mine y'all know before we had a rose one a cactus one and a regular one and i do still have those i definitely have the scrubs but i love this line for work this is something i do believe that this one to me is the second lightest one in the bunch the oatmeal being first as far as scent because i smell this one in the coco shea way more but these are perfect for work or if you're someone that you don't really like the other bath and body work stuff and you want something closer to normal and you don't mind spending the money or you catch it on sale this is another item that is great for that it's like a nice normal moisturizing lotion for everyday use the whole family can use it um, when my son was as young as seven most of the stuff in the true blue spa line and this water line when he got to be a little bit older i think he was preteen was able to use this so it's family friendly so I just got that in the cream um, and then I went ahead and got this oatmeal one and this is set for sensitive skin and I love anything for sensitive skin or unscented from them this one to me the lotion when I put it on had a hint of the scent of the oatmeal hand cream but it wasn't as strong as that and that's a light cream anyway so being that it wasn't as strong it is light but it had a hint of that scent but then it dissipated rather quickly but i did like the lotion a lot i do intend on getting the lotions for all of these even though i may have um the other ones but i don't think i had a straight lotion what they released then was creams well they did release a lotion for the coco shea the cucumber and there was another lotion that I had, but I love their lotions in this line. I love um, this body butter in this line. So I got all of these again while they were $5 or $4. Was it $4.95? Whatever the sale was for these items, that's what I got them for. Because I noticed when it told me that my order was in, this said $20.95. And I was like, oh my God, surely I didn't. And I didn't. I think this would be nice in one of those rose cocoa scents, though, if they would make a... Um, because I have a scrub. I'm not sure if I ever got my hands on the butter. If I did, I forgot. So again, we've got this. And I do have one of the original oatmeal washes somewhere. So I will pull that out and use it before this one. And this is just fantastic. For myself, it feels really good on the skin. It's moisturizing. It's not drying. And again, it's perfect for those people who want something maybe more closer to regular lotion but you want it just a little bit more higher end and you don't really want all the fragrance stuff, this is wonderful for that. Then I participated in their candle sale and I kind of could have substituted this one for something else, but I wanted to go ahead and try it. I was not too keen on the hand soap. At least I think I used it. I don't know if I used the Fireflies hand soap or another soap, so I won't say just yet. But whichever one I opened up first, I wasn't too keen on. But now that I'm smelling this days later, this does not smell bad at all. I do like the way it smelled. So I did go ahead and I got Chasing Fireflies. This was the most expensive candle of the four that I got. So I bought two and I got two. And I just went ahead and got this one. Um, so I think body care wise in this, I just have the lotion. I did want the moisturizing wash, but I did not get it. And then 
I had to go ahead. I think the year that they came out with the pumpkin cinnamon bun that everybody liked it. I think that's when I missed out on it. So I went ahead and got one of these. Now, I could have gotten two of these instead of two coffees, but I did go ahead. And the reason that I got two of these coffee candles is I'm not very crazy about their coffee candle while I do love coffee candles. They have had a mocha one, a dark brown one. They've had the one that um, had espresso. They all smell similar to me, but I did like one of them a lot. But the thing of it is, I don't dislike this candle. The only reason I purchased two is in case it burns exceptionally good and smells exceptionally good, as sometimes their candles are known to do, I wanted to have a backup. And another reason I purchased two is because this candle, when it was Paris Cafe, sold out really, really fast. A lot of people couldn't get it. I think one showed up in our store. Some stores, some stores in other places, people had one or two showing up like us. So this time I went ahead and got two just in case. And again, it does smell exceptionally good. This really smells like coffee candy to me. It smells like a strong coffee candy. This one is more coffee-ish. Whereas this one has a sweeter note. So I don't know if that has to do with the batch numbers. Because y'all remember, a lot of the people that reviewed candles and talked to us about candles, a lot of them sometimes said it had to do with these batch numbers. And my numbers are different see that 2053 that part's the same so other than that yeah but i do like these now this one smells sweeter so i'd probably burn that one last and then the very last thing that i have here is i went ahead and got me this case now when i tried to order this from the pandora store they actually gave me one of those cases that you get for free. Right now, if you get on Pandora and you're ordering bracelets, I th think, yes, you get a free case. It looks like it has room for um, some rings and your bracelets. It's just a flat, rectangular case. It's about this big, a little bit wider. And that's what they were giving me, and we're going to keep my $69. And I said, no, that's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. And so I got on another site y'all know that i've been ordering from the pandora site or i've been ordering from Rees. i got on something called charming i'll have to look up the name and put it in the description box but they are a real retailer for pandora because i did learn that you have to be careful so this right here guys houses my whole full pandora collection this is everything that i own i pulled it out um to put in here and this is the wavy bead. This was the first bead I got for 35. I want another one of those because I do want two of those. And they got some new ones out. There's a teal turquoise bead. There is um, a pink bead made much like this light blue one here that I'm about to share with you. Um, and I was trying to think if there's another one, but I still want the original beads that I wanted. So these right here are all of my beads, as you can see the colors there. These two, I have two, two, two. I do want another one of these, but look at that blue one. Isn't that gorgeous? That's what I noticed when I was in there looking at it through the window. So I want another one of those plus the cobalt blue one, the white one. Y'all already heard that story, but I would love to do a nail look that looks like this. So what I did was I put these beads in here. I tried to put my ones that were in pairs in there while I'm getting everything stuck in here. And then this right here, I'm gonna take this out. See if I can get this out. Hold on. So as you can see, the mirror comes out, the tray comes out. This is what I have in the bottom of here. This little thing right here is a clip opener and I'm thinking I want a guitar pick like this lady I watched showed. And then these, of course, are my bracelets. This is the one that I'm going to leave as is, the one that I did copy um, out of the book. And then this one is the one with this lone charm. I will just wear one charm on this one or maybe two. It just depends. And then over here I have the necklace. I did go ahead and get the O-ring that y'all have seen. I put it on this chain that I can adjust the length to. And then this right here was the little... Um, Dreamcatcher heart. I do still want the silver Dreamcatcher, and I will put that on here as well. 
and this mirror comes out and y'all know that I said that at one point I was just going to buy all the charms that I like and then decide how I want to fashion them but would y'all believe there's about six bracelets I want now I'm going to try to just get two two are bracelets that don't have um, any charms for them they're those ones I don't know if I pronounced it right but herbium or I say the name wrong but this right here is every single bead charm that I own right now and I love that I put that on here and I did a little short with this on Instagram so I do want another one of these pink clips and this right here is for the rose gold I have two of the um, silver clips that are just like that and I have two of these little blue things here I do want a purple one of these here is the bumblebee and then this one right here is mostly all of those charms that I got first which are in this turquoise teal family and then this one is some of the little latest ones that I got the little boy and the girl that I said I intend to put on a keychain so yeah I intend to put the little boy and the little girl on a keychain I have that little watering can I have the sailboat I should have a little astronaut on here somewhere because I'm going to get the galaxy bead. So there's a little astronaut there. And again, the little boy and girl are going to go on a keychain. I haven't decided yet, but I do know that I want to get a keychain. I want their heart earrings. And this right here, I might put this mermaid on a necklace a time or two. And I love this little blue turtle on um, a bracelet and I'm excited about my rose gold they have a few new bracelets as well but I want to get the rose gold and I'm gonna put this butterfly and the flower on here I don't know if you can see the butterfly yeah I'm gonna put that butterfly and the flower on there and then I'm gonna fashion this other pink clip along with a pink ball um, around the bracelet and I don't know what I'm gonna do with this flower yet I will either put it on a bracelet or put it on a necklace but yeah this is my whole little entire Pandora collection right now and for somebody who just again like I keep saying just started with Pandora I have quite a little collection and I'm gonna be getting some more pieces I've decided I want those diamondy looking bracelets um, and I'll wear those because they don't go they don't have anything that goes on them and in here you can put the rings I don't plan on putting the rings in here is where the earrings could go but um, I did have some of these on a bar and they were too big so eventually when I get enough of these Moreno beads I'll just toss them to the bottom I know that I want the heart earrings I'll put them there if I get anything else I'll put it up here and I don't plan on getting any rings they have a couple that I like but I'm not so certain on the waterproof of them because I have to wash my hands a lot. Even when I'm not working, I wash my hands a lot being at home and I don't need something that's going to turn or tarnish. So I don't know yet, but they do have one that I do like and it's that one that matches the bracelets that I want. So anyway, guys, that was it. I just wanted to share this with you. What I got from the moisturizer sale, the candle sale, and then my entire little collection here. I'm going to go ahead and head to the laundromat, maybe to the store. I have been working all week, so I'm so tired. So I do apologize for my lackluster. Look, I can't even talk, y'all. I apologize for my lacklusterness. So until the next time, everyone, have a fantastic Wednesday.